Miami's Party Station, Power 96. I have a personal friend in the building, a Miami mogul in this music game, Mr. Abibi Lewis. How are you, sir? Chops, what's the deal? Chilling, man. Just another day in paradise. Uh, introduce yourself for the people who don't know who you are, man. Like, as far as what you do, you run the biggest studio in the city. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Circle House Studios is where, you know, we do our thing at. Also, my dad is uh, Inner Circle. The people who made the theme song for Cops, Bad Boys, Bad Boys. Bad Boy. Oof. You know, I got my own marketing company here. I've been in Miami for years and years and years. So, you know. If you are trying to get in this music game, BB is someone you definitely need to know. Lil Wayne referenced him in a song. I'll circle your house like BB back mm -hmm. in the days. Like, So n name some uh, clients that have been at Circle House, bro. Uh, clients from shoot, Lil Wayne back in the days to Celine Dion Oof. to Enrique Iglesias. You know, your top producers and songwriters in the game right now, Rico Love, Pharrell, Jennifer Hudson was there the other day. It just don't stop. You know, we try to mix it up with some of yeah. everything, you know? And what's dope about that studio, explain a little bit, like, it's like in the cut and it's like like more of a family oriented, not like a corporate, like, atmosphere like yeah. that. Well, I always, uh, always reference it to clothes. I like clothes, you know, mm -hmm. and I call us more of a couture studio, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. We're like one of a kind type of piece, you know? It's not gotcha. like you're your smorgasbord or buffet style studio. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're very, very on point with, you know, with the clients, you know? Right. They got the, um, you guys got the, they got a pool in the back with Cabana Studios. It's crazy. If you've never been to Miami, like this is the place to record at. Name uh, like some hits that have been recorded there. You know what I mean? Uh, lately, uh, we definitely did Kelly Rowland's Motivation, Oof. that new Freaks record with uh, Nicki Minaj, French Montana. Mm -hmm. uh, man, every Trick Daddy and Trina song in the early years, uh, Take It to the House, uh, man, like, the hits goes on, T.I., I can just, I can't even think right now of so many, you know? Deep rooted in Miami. What? So, like, what goes into running, like, a studio of that caliber? Like, Well, it all goes down to uh, my pops, which is Inner Circle, mm -hmm. uh, Reggae Legends. Mm -hmm. They uh, originally had a studio in Broward County where Uncle Luke and everybody used to come to. So mm -hmm. we kind of, like, was, like, one of the first black people to ever, like, mm -hmm. own a studio and invest their money back into the studio before mm -hmm. Uncle Luke and everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, that bad boys got on that cop show, man, we just reinvested back into ourselves, yeah. you know? And then we opened uh, Circle House, and it just blossomed from there, man, you know? And you guys bought the house across the street, too, so it's actually two, like, mansions. Yeah, 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 you know, it's the compound, it's the compound, you know? Wow. So what's the craziest thing you've ever seen happen at Circle House? The craziest things I've ever seen is really just, you know, we can't talk about the, the other things, uh -huh. you know, but we could talk about the awesome, like, just connections of, like, Flo Rider being in one room, Neil being another, and just somebody else being another, and just the, just the connection people that People don't happens. understand what goes behind the scenes at studios. Like, people are, like, chilling, living their lives. They're not always in the studio. So people are around. People meet each other. I'm sure collaborations happen off on the fly. Yeah, crazy stuff, man. I was, like, one of the main guys who kind of, like, let Neo hear Pitbull. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First, and like, you know, Pit, and, and Neo's a very open-minded person because he's mm -hmm. like a songwriter. So right. he's really open to a lot of different things. So he just saw the different demographics of Miami, mm -hmm. you know, and just, just attacked it, you know, with the Latin, with the urban, with everything, you know? Right. You're deep-rooted in this Miami music scene. You've seen it evolve. You've you've been you've been to it when Pitbull was nothing, when Flo Rider was nothing. How do you make of it now like as far as the Miami music scene well I'm loving it right now we're a very small market it's not like we're in New York where you can sell a bunch of albums in right. one city so to be a trendsetter break a market that we are it's uh -huh. really incredible you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm loving it man because it's mega money out there man Miami mm -hmm. shows you that it's not it's not about one style of music you could do mm -hmm. everything and you know mashup festivals like uh, the Ultra was here that was a crazy right. mashup right. festival man from rap to hip hop to pop to techno to dubstep mm -hmm. to i can't even explain you right. know so like it goes to show that it's like miami we don't have no boundaries here i like right. that about miami it's no holding back you know right and we were people always say that miami we're always united as 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 a community as far as artists everyone's doing records with each other and stuff how do you feel about how that is today like do you feel like that still stands or because the miami movement kind of like you know it's I'm waiting to break a Miami artist. You know what I mean? Like, no, nah, I, to I totally agree with you. I've seen it all. Everybody, everybody is still close, but everybody mm -hmm. is still far at the same yeah, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one thing I do got to commend is like my pops in a circle because you know mm -hmm. of the studio they stay so close and cool with all the artists. Another one is Flo Rider with mm -hmm. their football league, which is incredible. They stay mm -hmm. into the community with everything, mm -hmm. and, and it's just it's just about being accessible you right know what I'm and i feel like a lot of the artists are still accessible but some of them aren't as much as they mm -hmm. were back in the days i don't want to name no names but right. you know 
So, I mean, you're a mogul in, in general. What other things, what other business ventures do you have going besides, you know, just keeping up with the studio every day? Well, definitely I got my marketing company, which I named it after myself, a BB Lewis Marketing and Branding Group. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we uh, are the forces behind Bamboo Sundays and uh, uh, Miami mm -hmm. Live we did back in the days and just so many mm -hmm. different other concerts and stuff mm -hmm. that I can't even talk about because, you know, we stay on the radar. We give you mm -hmm. a great business plan and, and a way of to attack you know what i'm saying because the main mm -hmm. thing we have is experience in this market you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i've been through before twitter and mm -hmm. i'm here with twitter now and yeah. i'm here with facebook and instagram and everything else so it's just a you can't always just do that you got to go touch the people too and you got to have the right person to touch the people so like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. a lot of the artists you know the first call they make when they get off the airplane is to BB, you know right, what I'm saying? They right. call a groupie, you know, or, you know right, then right, they right. call BB next. What's the time? groupie, we the weed man, and BB's <laughs> third in line. We got to get that studio time. We got to know where we're partying at tonight. Exactly. So, you know. all right, yeah, man. And as far as like, BB's got one of the few email blasts I actually read and I actually <laughs> check from everything you need to know about Miami. How do you stay like relevant, bro, as far as like, you know, keeping up with one of the biggest studios, like, and it's always evolving, like the scene? How do you? Well, it's a, it's a couple of different things. Definitely social media. You know, I stay up on my social media, my websites, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I stay up on what's happening online and stuff like that. Then also, right. I always tell my artists, I tell my different people I'm consulting their projects with, doing concerts with, mm -hmm. you got to touch the people. Mm -hmm. If you don't touch the people, like, what are you doing this for? Right, you, know, you got to like, put the groundwork. You got to put the groundwork, you know, like, it's to the point where if I put my name on something, it kind of, like, people come out, you right. know, because of the groundwork that I have done right. you know so how do you feel social network has social networking has affected the game today well it just it added a lot of new things and it took away from a lot of things you know mm -hmm. so it's like so many like fraudulent fake rappers and yeah, yeah so much fake stuff going on right now that it's it's just incredible crazy mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying but like you know you, you have to stay on top of it because I know there's labels before you get signed. They're looking at your social media. Damn. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at your Twitter followers, your Facebook, mm -hmm. your Instagrams, and that's a big part of you actually And now you could just buy signed. followers. You could buy followers. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all about manipulation nowadays. Before right. it was about talent. It's not right. about talent no more to yeah. an extent. It's like really just about... How good you could fake it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so well, what's coming up next for you, bro? Like what business ventures? I mean, I know you run Bamboo Sundays. That's huge. What other... Um, business ventures you got going well the business ventures i'm trying to get into is more you know like uh film stuff you, you know you. like i'm really trying to get into the film to the reality shows and all that stuff like that mm -hmm. and just offer a different outlook uh, yeah. of that stuff you know because you know usually when majority of people uh majority of the reality shows come to miami they come mm -hmm. check with us mm -hmm. and uh you know we put a few things together for them but i want to get into it myself you right know? i could definitely see like um if love and hip-hop came to miami that you'd be like a big instrument you know, in that role, because you like could really put bring all that stuff together for Miami. Like, Not you know what I mean? Definitely. BT always calls me. VH1, they always call me. And, uh, you know, I'm actually helping my boy, White Boy, uh, he, uh, mm -hmm. the Cash Dome. He's mm -hmm. doing uh, Miami Pond. You know, he's okay. filming it right now. So I'm consulting that project with him with VH1 mm -hmm. and on True TV. So that's going to be a beautiful thing. And I've, I've seen not even just music people in there. I've seen like directors at Circle House. Gil Green goes yeah. there a lot, right? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just, we, just, we want to make Circle House and the brand Inner Circle of B.B. Lewis mm -hmm. and the whole family brand just to get on that level. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, Miami is like that melting pot. And I feel like Miami is just only getting bigger. Right. And there's so much. You can go from the, like I said, the ultra to right. Art Basel. This is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's checks left and right. You know what I'm saying? From urban checks to paintings to, mm -hmm. you know, it's crazy. As far as, like, at Circle House, there's, you know, we know there's big artists. You got Future, Pharrell, like, the biggest names go there. The average person wants to come up and rap. Are they able to book time at Circle House? Is that... Yeah, definitely. They can go on my website right now. Log on to CircleHouseStudiosOnline.com and mm -hmm. shoot me an email and, and we can mm -hmm. chat it up and see what's up, you know, like... I mess with the everyday person. You know, right. like we shot a World Star video of a tour of Circle House maybe maybe four years ago, five years ago mm -hmm. with Jordan Towers. And, uh, you know, on there, I told him, like, I, the independent client is my guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the independents, you know, because mm -hmm. they're on the way coming up. You know, Circle House started when Po Boy, shout out to E-Class, was just coming up. When Slip and Slide mm -hmm. Records, Ted Lucas, shout out mm -hmm. to him, was just coming up. You know, I was mm -hmm. there for, like, Trick Daddy's first song, Trina's first song, yeah. you know, right there. That's dope. So... As far as managing artists, you man, you have a marketing group. Yeah. What goes into that? Are you managing any projects? Yeah, right well, it's mainly consulting. You know, we got a new kid, Berserk. You know, uh -huh. he's not really new. He's been around Miami. Shout out to Berserk. Minute. Shout out to Berserk, man. And he's coming up right now. We're going to drop his single featuring Scrappy. 
an iceberg very soon called Count That. And we just mm-hmm. grind and got him doing some different stuff, too, because mm-hmm. with Inner Circle, with the reggae stuff, too. So you, mm-hmm. cause you can't really pigeonhole yourself. You know, yeah, like yeah, no yeah. one's getting the big record sales anymore. Like mm-hmm. no one's selling Diamond no more yeah. and all that stuff is mainly show money. You know, exactly. like so if you can go out there on the road and make five grand a night and you're working two nights a week, you know, that's 10 grand. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 40 grand for the month. You good. You yeah. know, it's like. You know, that's crazy. Where could people find you on Twitter, online, all of that? Well, uh, on Twitter, it's at a BB Lewis, which is A B E B E L E W I S, and the same thing for Instagram. You know, you can check our different websites, badboysofreggae.com, or like I said, circlehousestudiosonline.com. Mm-hmm. I'm very mm-hmm. accessible. Get at me, let me know. You know, mm-hmm. he's at, you know, he's Bamboo Sundays. He's at, he'll be at his table with the Hennessy, the Ciroc's, <laughs> the bad ones. Just look for him. Power 96, Casey Chops, BB. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, B.B. Lewis, and I'm here chopping it up with KC Chops, Miami's number one king of radio. Let's go. Yes, yes we're for the bad bitches. Bad bitches. Posh gang. Posh gang. Dane County Street Sweepers, nigga. You already see the graffiti art and all that shit, man. Power 96, my name is KC Chops. I'm really excited for this interview because this is the first time I'm getting to interview international superstar DJs and 